planet is being pushed to its limits. As the global population continues to grow, our consumption is growing with it. Continuing with our current ways, will there be enough food, water, energy to carry us all? Are we creating the future we desire? It's clear that our growth model of the last century is outdated. The economy needs to grow in a new way, in a way that delivers value to all humankind, in a way that protects our planet for both present and future generations. Changing our course is urgently needed. If we want to create a sustainable society, we have to change the system at its very core. And that begins with our way of thinking and our way of looking at and relating to the world. That's where it has to begin. We need to really be prepared to make some real long-term and large investments. Business as usual is not an option. Because if we continue like we do today, we need two or three globes in 2050. So what we need to do is to be a part of a pathway to change. DNVGL believes it is possible to create a thriving economy in harmony with nature. We believe it's possible for a society of nine billion people to stay within the limits of the planet while enjoying a safe and fulfilling life. And we believe that shaping this future the most important task of our time is not only possible, but essential. The actions we take today will define our opportunities for generations to come. For those who act now, the path to a safe and sustainable future is paved with opportunities. Introducing a whole new set of transparency and openness and engagement, not being closed up, but being opening up, Trust must be earned, and it's a tough business. Politicians cannot make these choices and take the right decisions if not the solutions are there. So it's extremely important that the business is there with their solutions. Um, the crises we're facing require not marginal tweaks around the edges, but a fundamental rethink of what it is to be human. We need to look at, are the products and services we're creating, are they making the world a better place? This dialogue must be turned into a moral imperative knowledge on the problem and the solutions that need to be put in place will bring about a shift in the actions and attitudes of people all over the world. It takes two hands to clap and we don't have always have to wait for uh, policy makers. We could snap our fingers first. We're pretty close to exhausting all alternatives. Maybe it's time to do the right thing. We know today what the most unsustainable activities are that we urgently need to stop doing. And we also know the actions we need to take to change course. But there are significant barriers at play, both blocking and slowing the change needed. We believe becoming aware of these barriers, how they work and their interlinkages is critical to find the right strategy, the right plan of action to move the world onto a more sustainable path. We can still bring about a sustainable world. To harness these opportunities, we know that we cannot act alone. We need collaboration and trust among stakeholders. And most of all, we need innovation and ingenuity, our most precious resource. As a company founded to safeguard life, property and the environment, we've taken a broader view on the issues that really matter and chiseled out pathways to reaching a safe and sustainable future. By leveraging our knowledge and skills and working with our customers and society, we believe we can all play an important role in getting us there. Not tomorrow, but today, because the future of our planet depends on it. I really think that it would be helpful for us to revisit the whole idea of why we are in business. Don't call this sustainability, call it better business. So we will look for opportunities and we need partnerships. We need to work together. That is good for people, good for the environment and it's definitely good for business. Mm -hmm.